so to prove invariance of sorry sorry today i'm going to talk about the invariance of track equation under lorentz transformation so to prove invariance of track equation let us rewrite equation right this equation in suitable form so for this let us consider drag equation so it can be written as curl iota h cross curly psi y curly t is equal to m naught c square beta plus c minus iota h cross alpha dot del sorry alpha dot del psi and uh, let me divide both sides by size so then what will happen it is iota h cross curly psi over c curly t upon sorry equal to m naught c beta plus minus iota h cross alpha dot del h psi and let me dividing both sides by h cross when i will do that then it will be written as curly psi over uh, curly ct is equal to m not c over h cross beta plus minus iota alpha k so let me make it simply minus right because plus minus will become minus and it is alpha k and curly over curly x k right let me write down it in this way and uh, whole psi where k is 1 2 3 or sometimes it may represent x y and z right but here i am using it as 1 2 and 3 so now I can take this iota can be written as minus 1 over iota if I try to write down it in this manner then it will become curly psi with negative sign curly iota ct is equal to m naught c beta upon h cross minus iota alpha k curly over curly x k and whole psi then multiplying both sides by beta and if I multiply both sides by beta then it will become minus beta curly psi over curly iota c t is equal to m naught c h cross beta square And as I know, don't know that beta square is always 1 uh, so it is alpha k beta alpha k curly over curly x k at psi right and if I put its value here beta square is 1 then it will be equal to minus beta curly psi over curly iota c t is equal to m naught c h cross because it is 1 minus using this identity and it is iota alpha sorry iota beta alpha k curly over curly x k at psi then what I can do let me use that m not c let us choose that m not c over h cross is 
m and beta i have taken as gamma 4 if i use these things and gamma k is equal to minus iota beta alpha k right if i use this then this of equation it can be uh, it can be written as it is minus gamma 4 curly psi over curly iota ct is equal to m minus gamma it will become m plus gamma k curly over curly xk psi and uh, then this will be equal to let us rewrite down this equation gamma k curly over curly iota ct sorry not iota ct uh, yeah x gamma k with this so it is x k right plus gamma 4 curly psi over curly iota ct and psi will also be there plus m psi is equal to 0 that's what I am getting here now let x4 is equal to iota ct that's what I am using here if I will use it then it can be gamma k curly psi over curly xk plus gamma 4 curly psi over curly x4 plus m is equal to 0 so therefore I will use instead of this k and 4 I will use generally x mu curly over curly x mu plus gamma mu, sorry plus m the size also this and plus m and whole size can be taken here right so these two can be put together using this right where mu is basically 1, 2, 3 and 4 so now the equation which we are getting here that is gamma mu curly over curly x mu plus m psi so it is the appropriate form of it is the appropriate form of form of track equation right so now I will apply Lorentz transformation and then see whether this form will be retained or not so after this to prove the invariance of uh, under Lorentz transformation let us proceed as follows so for that first of all let me consider the equation which uh, on which I have to work out I have to work out the equation that x mu curly over curly x mu plus m at psi is equal to 0 I have to work on it right so first of all let me consider Lorentz transformation so the Lorentz transformation is x mu prime must be equal to a mu nu x nu and under this Lorentz transformation psi transforms to psi prime that is psi prime can be written as si where s is the transformation matrix is the transformation matrix now in time frame Drac equation can be written as now in primed frame
ड्रैक इक्वेशन कैन बी रिटन एस गामा म्यू करली ओवर करली एक्स म्यू प्राइम साई प्राइम प्लस एम साई प्राइम इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो न लेट मी apply this here if i use this here then it can be written as gamma mu curly over curly x mu prime si plus m si is equal to 0 this s can be taken outside so if if it can be written here so it is x uh, gamma mu s curly over curly x mu prime psi plus m it can be written as s m psi is equal to 0 so now operating with s inverse when i operate then it will become s inverse gamma mu s curly over curly x mu prime it's psi plus s inverse s m psi is equal to 0 this will become identity and this will remain as it is gamma mu s curly over curly x mu prime psi plus m psi now we need to convert it into unprimed form so for this let us recall an identity that curly over curly x mu prime it can be written as a mu nu curly over curly x mu so if i use this here then this equation will become s inverse gamma mu s a mu new curly over curly x new this psi plus m psi is equal to 0 and let us call this as gamma new so therefore gamma new curly over curly x mu psi is equal to sorry uh, not equal to but plus m psi is equal to 0 so this is the required uh, equation this is the required equation so this is the drag equation in original form this is drag equation in original form and this shows that shows that this form is invariant or invariant or covariant or covariant or in other words i can say that this form is invariance or covariance of drag equation provided the operator s is chosen such that s inverse gamma mu s a mu nu it must be equal to gamma nu right if this will happen then the drag equation is covariant or invariant under under the lorentz transformation so hence the result so that's all for today's uh, lecture